Good morning, everyone. This is Elaine with Annabella's. Welcome back to floss tube number 26. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you all had a great week and got in lots of stitching time and quilting time and paper crafting time. Um, I didn't get to work on any of my works in progress this week. I am severely short staffed in the shop and um, kind of have just been by myself all week. So it's been a little bit crazy. Um, so I apologize for not getting out the happy mail that was supposed to go out last week. I promise I'll do it today. As soon as I get this video done, I will get that happy mail out to you. So I know a few of you um, are waiting on that. So last week's happy mail will go out um, later today. So anyway, um, what have we been doing this week? Uh, let's see, um, obviously we're on very serious baby watch. Uh, the baby is due on the 9th. Um, so if, um, you know, she can go any day, uh, but if not, then we'll be having a baby on the 9th. So we're just absolutely over the moon. And I can I just tell you that I am going crazy waiting to see if this is a boy or a girl. So I cannot wait. Um, just the, the waiting and the waiting and the waiting and the waiting is, is um, I'm glad this will be over soon, uh, but I'm sure they are too, so. So anyway, Baby Watch is on full force and um, we had some fun with Elijah this week. He came over with his mommy and spent some fun time with us. I'm gonna show you a cute picture um, of him and his poppy. So that's him and Terry and his hair is a hot mess. <laughs> my husband wants my daughter to cut his hair and she's like, I'm not cutting his hair, dad. But um, isn't he adorable? He's just so stinking cute. So we had a great time and um, Grammy, uh, grandma bought him a, a electric car. I don't know, maybe for Christmas or something. And I didn't get the kind that has the remote. So he ran over, first he ran over my daughter, which was kind of funny. Um, she didn't think it was funny, but I kind of got a kick out of it. And then karma gets you, right? Because then he ran over my foot and that hurts <laughs> so so baby day was fun we um also had floor time so we got down on the floor with him and terry got down on the floor with us and we were playing cars and you know putting you know puzzles and all the little things you do with a toddler and uh, then it was time to get off the floor and that was just an event so i don't know you know you have to live my life it's just a little bit crazy um i didn't see the girls this week but um they're doing great and um, their baby's coming along nicely and uh, she the baby is uh, Kobe and he is kicking up a storm so he's very he's a very busy boy already and of course he's coming in October so that was it um, just busy this week you know I came home and I couldn't I didn't even want to lift my finger to do stitching so I kind of just sat on the couch and um, I started watching Downton Abbey again. Uh, Terry had to go back to North Carolina for a quick trip. He promises me he'll be home on Sunday because, um, you know, he needs to get back here. And um, so I started rewatching Downton Abbey and I just have been loving it. I've enjoyed it so much. And um, it's almost better the second time around. I think you pick up little tidbits here and there of things that you might miss the first time around. So I'm thoroughly enjoying it and I'm almost done. I should finish it up before he gets back on Sunday. But um, I, I've been so tired because I've been running the shop by myself that I, I don't even want to lift my finger when I get home. I just sit on the couch with my two puppies on each side of me and just kind of hang my mouth open and watch the idiot box. It's really um, crazy. But I'm hoping I can do some, some stitching this weekend and some relaxing. So um, anyway, let's see what else I can tell you. We got in some nice store haul this week, so I'm going to go through that and show you. Um, we're going to start with uh, JBW Designs, um, that's Judy Whitman, and her designs are absolutely beautiful. They're really cute. They, they're little small cards um, that they come in. Her patterns are small, um, but uh, I, I really like her work. So this is Nordic Reindeer, and I think this is, the finishing on this is stunning, isn't it? I just absolutely love the finishing on this. So this is Nordic Reindeer. This is available in the shop. How cute that is. Love, love those reindeers. And this is brand new, just came out. This is Fall in the Round. Little pumpkins and I see some squirrels and some birds and baskets and leaves and cats. So very cute. The color doesn't do it justice. Every screen is different, but um, you know, that's Fall in the Round. And then Summer in the Round, really cute. There's some sailboats and some anchors and some fish and oh, just really pretty. 
So that's somewhere in the round. And her charts are, you know, each each of these uh, measures when it's done, if you stitch over two, about three, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So really sweet. So there's that. This one I love. I may add this to my stash, Grace. Now there's a, there's a meaning behind this. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to tell you because it's kind of embarrassing. So Grace I like because um, I think that my eldest daughter, um, you know, just had a birthday and I, I can tell you that last year had some challenges for her. And I told her that I was incredibly proud of how she handled everything that life threw at her last year with the amount of grace that I just, you know, should only hope to be able to achieve. So grace is probably going to go into my stash. I, I really like this. And then the funny side of grace is, um, you know, when you're in high school <laughs> and you get your yearbook and everybody writes down, um, you know, what you're best at. Well, I didn't get, you know, most likely to succeed or anything like that. My epitaph or whatever it's called underneath my yearbook picture is has trouble seating herself and the reason for that is is I was not graceful at all and I would go to sit down in my my chair in high school and I would miss and fall flat on the floor and I can't tell you how many times that happened over the years put it this way it happened often enough that that's how I earned the the you know the comment under my yearbook picture so very embarrassing and my step monster, and yes, she was a step monster, um, always called me Grace. She, you know, that was, she was, she wasn't very nice, but she did say it in a, when she was in a good mood, she would say it in a, you know, she would tease me and call me Grace. Um, so anyway, Grace has, you know, a lot of meaning for me. So I may go ahead and stitch that up. But the high school thing was kind of embarrassing. I would just sit on the floor and just shake my head, really. I can't believe you did this again. You're back on the floor, get up. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. This one's Hope. Isn't that cute? And just by the way, I still have fall frequently. We don't know why. I just tend to, I'm very clumsy. I trip over flat surfaces, a piece of lint on the floor, boom, boom, there I go. Um, if I wear sandals, you know, I need two hands to go up and down the stairs. It's not good. We should have a one-story house. Um, okay, so back to this. Hope, isn't that very nice? Oh, I may make that for my granddaughter, Hope. That's cute, right? That's pretty. Then we have Joy. Very pretty. Again, the finishing on some of these is stunning. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Then she also does um, some little sleds. I don't have all of them to show you, but I'll show you a few. This is um, little green sleds. And I also sell the sleds in the shop. So if you're looking for them, just type in mini sleds and these will pop up. But I do sell the sleds in the shop. So that we have that. And then this is little red sleds. And then last year, last Christmas, she came out with French Christmas tags, and these were very popular, so I just relisted them in the shop. So I'm going to show you the inside so you can get a nice picture of it. Aren't those adorable? So these are quick stitches that you can stitch up, and then on the front you can see how they finish them, and they just make nice Christmas tags for your favorite people on their gifts. So very nice. So that's JBW Designs. Let me sip a coffee. My coffee's cold. I don't even want to do this. Yuck. Okay. Then we have uh, Artful Offerings, How the Finch Stole Christmas. I can't remember if I showed this last week. Probably showed a picture, but it's now in stock. It's absolutely adorable. I love him. Look at him. And look at the berries. Isn't that pretty? So that is How the Finch Stole Christmas. He's just beautiful. Really love Artful Offerings. Okay, Little House Needleworks. We all love Little House Needleworks. October's party is now out. I did show this last week, but the chart is now here so you can get a better look and read it. I'll hold it here for a moment if you'd like to read that. It's all about October. And this finished size is about 10 and a half by six and a half. So there you go, Little House Needleworks. And then Halloween Street is here. This is very popular. It's already flying off the shelves. I've ordered it twice. This is by Waxing Moon Designs. And there's Halloween Street. So if you're starting your Halloween stitching, this is something to look at. Look how cute it is. Lots of different. And all, yes, all three of these um, designs are included. So you can do the Halloween Street, the Trick or Treat, or the Street Lamp, which is really cute. Okay. Then we have Pumpkin Topiary. I can't take this out of the sleeve, so I'll try to let you see that. 
these topiaries um, that Scissor Tail does are really nice. There's Mary Topiary, uh, Autumn Topiary, a Pumpkin Topiary. There may be a couple others that I'm not thinking of after, because of my coffee. Um, but you can look in the shop and just type in topiary uh, or just type in um, waxy moon. I mean, scissor tail, and it'll come up. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And I love the little pillow finish. And the buttons are cute. I'm a big button person. So there you go. Then um, these are not new, but they're back in stock. So I want to show you these because if you are an It's So Emma fan, which we are here, you can certainly look at these. This is home. Very nice. And then this is Hey Pumpkin, which I love. It's a quick stitch here. Only has one, two, three, four, five called four colors. And when it's done, it's like six by six. So it's really cute. That's that. And then I wanted to show you this again, um, Saltwater Scrapbook 1 and 2, because I didn't have um, the patterns in last time. This is um, a collaboration between the Blue Flower Stitchery and um, Lindy Stitches. So here is part one by Janine. And it's so adorable. And you can stitch each of these like that as a pillow, right? Little teeny pillows. And then on the back, you can see how an example of stitching them all together. Is that clear? Can you see that? So that's really cute. So that is Saltwater Scrapbook Part 1. And then Lindy Stitches um, contributed Saltwater Scrapbook Part 2. My favorites are the seagulls, but there you go. Let me see if there's something on the back here. Yeah, she does have something on the back. Okay, so on the back of the chart, you can see how those are all stitched together. So, if you're still doing summer stitching, which I think you are, because you guys are buying all kinds of summer stuff, um, you can check out both of those patterns. Then we have some Prairie Schooler that came in. We love Prairie Schooler, so I'm gonna go through all these. And again, these are in the sleeves. I can't take them out, but I'll try to avoid the glare. This is Summer Breeze by Prairie Schooler. Then we have Christmas Samplers. We have both here. Well, this is Christmas Samplers too, but we have one as well. I think it's just called Christmas Samplers. But this is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? They're, they're just incredible design, incredible talent. So there we have Prairie School Order, Christmas tree. And then we have Cats, Bats, and Witches. Very fun. Cats, Bats, and Witches. You can look at that. And then <laughs> this one, I love this one. This is Bump in the Night. <laughs> Not cute. Very, very funny. You can see on the back some examples of smaller things you can make. So that's Bump in the Night. Let me see. That's the only one that has anything on the back. The rest of these don't, so you didn't miss anything. And then this one is really my, one of my favorites. This is Country Seasons. So this has all the different, you know, the four seasons. And I just thought this was so pretty. Isn't that nice? So those are all the prairie schoolers. And then we got in some tiny modernist. So um, when witches go riding is her new mystery series. So there's gonna be four secret sections and this one is part one. So part one is in the shop. So you're not gonna be able to see any of this. It'll come out once a month in four different releases. Um, but this that you get um, when you buy this chart will give you this right here. So you'll get the banner at the top. Isn't that cute? Look at the little witch on her broom with her little green face. She's cute. So Tiny Modernist, her mystery series are very popular and that's available. And then we also got in um, Sewing Room Bell Pull. Absolutely beautiful, I love it. Everything we love about sewing, right? Well, sewing machines and needles and threads. Here's my favorite, the seam ripper. <laughs> Ah, what does that tell you? 
Seam ripper. I think I have like a half a dozen laying around the sewing room because you never know. Well, you do know. I'm going to end up having to do something with it. But anyway, love that. And then summer band sampler. She also has spring band sampler, which we have in the shop. I believe it's called a spring band sampler. But there's the summer band sampler. And I believe I showed a picture last week, but this is the original. Let me get a much better look that way. Right. Then we got in from Shepherd's Bush, Busy Notes, with the little smalls. I did have the, the I think I have a few of the buttons left. Um, I put together um, the buttons. We don't have the bumblebee. We don't have this button, but I did put together um, some buttons and some pins from Just Another Button Company for you. So if they're still available, you'll find them listed uh, with the pattern itself. Uh, if not, we're sold out, but um, I do try to put these together for you. And sometimes they they release little buttons with them, but I didn't see it with, with this release. So don't know what to tell you, but it's very, very cute. Stony Creek came out with some new things. This is Masters and Staff. This is Dogs and Cats. Look at that. How <laughs> cute for all of us pet lovers and fur mommies and daddies. I love it. Then we have Life and Golf. I got to make this for Terry. He played 36 holes of golf yesterday. I mean, then he called me and he's like, I can't imagine why I'm so tired. Well, you played 36 holes of golf. And he was up there not to play golf. He went up there for something else. I'm not real. I don't understand how he gets to take all this time off and I'm stuck working like my butt off over here. Just kidding. Anyway, Life and Golf. Very cute. That would look nice in the man cave. Although he's going to run out of wall space. We're going to have to get a bigger house just to put everything up on the walls. And then last is Barnyard Buddies, which I think is just adorable. Look at those sweet babies. Uh, look at this little chick. I love it. Isn't that sweet? So Barnyard Buddies. So that's a store haul this week. Lots of others. Not a lot, but a bunch of other stuff came in too. But, you know, there's only so many minutes in a video. So I'm showing you what I think you would like the most. And I hope that if you do, you will go and check it out in the Etsy shop. And you can see, um, you know, other things that are there. Look under new arrivals. That's where everything is. Okay, let's talk about our Friday featured designer. So last week it was Paulette Stewart with Plum Street samplers and this week it's Sue Hillis with Sue Hillis Designs. So what's really neat about Sue Hillis is she started her business in 1976. So that is a long time ago. I was in high school then falling off that chair onto the floor but that's when Sue Hillis started her design company. And Sue describes herself as a self-taught stitcher, a wife, mother of three, and a master doodler. Um, she's had, you know, released well over 250 designs. So I am sure that you will find something you love. In the links below, you'll find a link to her website where you can kind of go through and, and see all of the different things that she has. And then I'm going to show you some of the items that we have in stock right now. We also have more coming this week because when I decided to feature her, I went through my list and I'm like, ah, oh, we ran out. So I do have more coming on Tuesday. But these are in no random order. Um, but I thought this one was fun to start off with simply because it's 4th of July weekend. So this is Dogs on the Run. Look at that. Who, how many of you are going to eat hot dogs this weekend? Ugh, I, I wish I could, but I don't know if I will. Um, anyway, how sweet. Dogs on the Run. Perfect for the 4th of July and for barbecuing and summertime and ketchup and mustard and all the grill tools and just really, really nice. So love that. Then so much love. This is one of my favorites. This is in my stash, of course. So much love. Isn't that nice? Of course, it's pink, so it's got to go in the hen den. Just love it. Then peppermint and holly. Very pretty. This was a hot seller last Christmas, so I just ordered a bunch more. Isn't that pretty? That'd make a beautiful gift. Home for the Holidays, that is great. Very, very popular design. And then she also has Home for the Harvest. So I don't have Home for the Harvest to show you because I ran out, but it is, uh, it, it's in, it'll be in the Etsy shop. Oh, it already is in the Etsy shop. I already listed it. I just didn't uh, print out a picture to show you. 
but this is home for the harvest and then you can also check out i mean home for the holidays and you can also check out home for the harvest then bringing home the tree by sue hillis very nice love those snowflakes aren't those beautiful then you've seen these before but i gotta flip through them real quick these are um it's the most wonderful spark of the year there you go it's the most wonderful feast of the year it's the most wonderful time of the year and the most wonderful fright of the year that's sweet then we have happy independence day that great perfect this is um home for the picnic i showed you home for the harvest home for the holidays and this is home for the picnic so isn't that nice so that is adorable i love all her she's so talented and then hearts and spools and life's it says life's a stitch and so many hearts there's quite a few of these on the back you can see she also has those count your blessings which is a series and friendship and bloom right there and then this is this chart and this is my absolute all-time favorite for christmas anyway just my personal preference is uh, christmas morning and i'm I need to start working. I'm doing some Christmas gifts in this pattern this year and I haven't started yet. I don't know. It's Christmas in July. I've got six months. I'm sure I'll get one done. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe just one, but I'll get one done. And guess which one it's gonna be. Can you guess? I don't know. It's between this guy and this guy. This one's kind of intimidating me because I only have six months to do it, but I like this one and this one. But Christmas morning. So that is our wonderful designer of the week, or I'm sorry, our Friday featured designer. Very, very cool. Like her, love Sue. Um, okay, so last week's, let's see, what do we have? Like you have pop-ups coming up on my screen, it's driving me nuts. Um, okay, I told you about Happy Mail going out last week. Okay, so last week's contest was how many strands do you stitch with? So I really wanted to know because I showed you my work in progress on the Prairie Schooler Santa that I'm doing. Um, I actually did stitch yesterday. I stitched like two rows of 10. That was it. That's all I did. Uh, I get, I'm getting tired of the red. I, it's time to move on to the white, to the scissors because I'm over the, the coat. It's just too, too, taking too long. Um, anyway, so the question was, do you stitch with one, two, or three, or do you stick strictly with the color four threads? Because I didn't like the way the um, uh, stitches, the, the fabric was showing through my stitches. So very interesting. Go back and read everybody's comments on floss tube number 25, and you can, you know, see what everyone does and, um, you know, what they stitch with and whether or not they stick with the call four floss or if they, you know, switch it up a bit. So um, very good. Thank you so much for commenting. I appreciate it. Um, so we went ahead and had our uh, YouTube random contest winner picker pick some names. So the winners for last week are Sprinklestein Stitches, Sue Dial, Jean Truckee, and Jean Lucas. So thank you very much, ladies. And I hate to say ladies, but we don't have any men that are, that are commenting. So if you're a man or a guy, go ahead, please, and comment because we would love to give you gifts too, some happy mail. But you four ladies will be getting your happy mail as soon as you go, and I will get it out to you this week, I promise. Um, as soon as you email me at info at annabellas.net and give me your name and address, uh, especially Sprinklestein Stitches, because I don't think I should address your envelope that way. I don't know if they'll find you. So, but I do love your YouTube name. So uh, go ahead and send that off to me and I will be sure to get your happy mail out. And thank you so much for participating. So I thought this week's question would be, what is your favorite 4th of July tradition? You know, what are you gonna do for fun this holiday weekend? Um, you, you know, do you, what do you do? Just share with us. Let us know what you're going to do and how you celebrate uh, America's birthday. 
Um, this year, uh, Terry doesn't come home till Sunday, so that's good, but we're kind of watching the tropics. Uh, my phone beeped a little minute ago, right before I came on the, the air here, and uh, we have now have a hurricane. So, um, you know, whatever. It's like day one of hurricane season. I can't even imagine. It's not, but, you know, we don't need to be having hurricanes this early in the year. And my cousin's on his way uh, from Buffalo to spend, you know, a couple weeks here. And he arrives uh, today, as a matter of fact. Hi, John. <laughs> so John arrives today. So um, good luck with that. He's never been through a tropical storm or hurricane. So he might be in for some surprises. And I think he's staying on the beach. So... Um, hopefully it'll miss us, but <clears throat> this holiday weekend, um, you know, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick around the house and maybe get some stitching done. I probably have to come into the shop, you know, both days, but that's okay. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see, but, um, I'd like to know what you're going to do because I'll probably be very jealous, but tell me anyway, <laughs> I'd love to hear. So that'll be our question. Um, okay. Let's give you some news. Let's see what news do we have. Okay, let's let's update you on some fabric. The Priscilla's Pretty Plaids and the Chelsea's Checks. I make up a lot of Bella bundles for all of you. And I'm happy to say I just reordered every color. So those have, uh, well, I don't want to say they've shipped, but they should ship uh, in the, today or sometime early next week. So I have plenty in stock except for black and white. And as you know, um, I wanted to update you, it's still not in stock. So I'm um, keeping my fingers crossed that it'll come in or that they've got it sitting in the storm room and that they're going to send it to me when they send me all the other colors, um, but no promises. And as soon as I do get the black and white in, I'll make up those Bella bundles right away because I know Priscilla and Chelsea have been doing a lot of their uh, finishing using that fabric and we just can't get it from the, from the manufacturer. So I promise I'll get it to you as soon as I can, but you can check out the other Bella bundles. The Halloween, well, I call it Halloween, but it's the orange. Um, it's Chelsea's Checks in the orange and um, Priscilla's Pretty Plaids in the orange and black. That is a hot seller. Um, and then also gray seems to be a very hot seller. And then we have the dark red. The, the, it's red on black or black on red. And that's very popular. That's a nice um, finishing fabric uh, for the holidays. Uh, let's see what else does she have. Blue and white. Very nice. Um, and then just the regular red and white like the gingham. So all of that is, is going to be, is in stock and then more is coming. So there'll be plenty. And then Joy in the Journey has finally shipped. I should have it by UPS. Let's see, probably Tuesday uh, because we're closed. Well, the building's closed. Elaine's not closed. Elaine doesn't ever close. <laughs> but um, I'll probably get the fabric on Tuesday. So that'll be the Joy in the Journey. So for all of you that have pre-ordered Joy in the Journey, I probably shouldn't have said anything because now you're all going to be emailing me and saying, where's my fabric? So here's the thing. Fabric comes in bolts. I think I'm getting 40 bolts in. Everything has to be opened up and then I have to go order by order and I have to cut all your fabric. So I will get it out to you. Just know that it's finally coming and you will get it ASAP. You just give me a few days and I'll get everything cut um, nicely for you and packaged up very pretty and get it to you. So uh, if you order Joy in the Journey and you did a pre-order, uh, just you know watch your inbox because you'll get a message as soon as it ships. Um, Christmas in July starts today at Annabella, so we're very excited about that. Make absolutely sure you've signed up for our newsletter. That'll go out later this morning, and you'll learn more about Christmas in July. And then um, we also have a 4th of July weekend sale. So make sure to subscribe to the newsletter. Link is below. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would mean an awful lot to us. In order to win um, any of the Happy Mail, you have to be both a subscriber, like the video, and may leave a comment. Um, but please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And then connect with us on Instagram and also on Facebook. We would love to have you join any one or all of our stitching groups that are listed below and our uh, cross stitching groups. It's not a stitching group. Our Facebook groups listed below. And uh, we'd love to see you there. Um, please be sure to share your work. Um, you know, some of you are very shy and you're not sharing your beautiful work. So uh, no judgment, but we'd love to see what you're working on and, and your projects. And, you know, it's a great group of people. We have over 2000 members in our, in our group. Um, so, uh, that's Annabella's group. So please, you know, join, but participate. We would really love to see your work and how it's coming along. So I hope you have a great weekend, everyone. Have a wonderful and very safe holiday. If you are in Florida, be safe, stay dry, and I will see you next week. Bye.